Hey YouTube, I uh, want to do a quick uh, video talking about what's happening right now in the stock markets. First uh, day of the year that the stock markets are open and everything is crashing around the world. All the uh, triggers are being set. You know, they had to uh, stop the Chinese stock market, the Brazilian stock market. Uh, all the emerging market currencies are down. Uh, you know, it has a lot to do with uh, the tension between Iran and Saudi Arabia and also uh, just the general slowing down of the uh, emerging markets like China, Brazil, Mexico. You know, and uh, it's pretty scary. I mean, people are taking it seriously. The mainstream media even is taking it seriously. If you, you know, read articles of the Wall Street Journal, ABC, NBC, saying, you know, this could be really bad. This could be it. And I'm not saying things are going to crash right away, but this year, by the end of the year, for sure. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's going to cause a lot of uh, turmoil, a lot of hardship. Uh, it's going to cause a lot of, already politically things are moving a lot towards uh, the extremes. Pretty sure uh, there's a good chance Donald Trump could win. You know, and uh, someone was asking me what uh, the situation is like in Mexico. Mexico, I think things right now are the same as they always have been since I've been here. I don't really notice that anybody's suffering, but I, I don't, I think in the future, Mexico could have a lot of problems, especially if, um, you know, the emerging markets keep going down, currencies keep going down, the commodities keep going down. And then if uh, Donald Trump wins, things are going to be really bad for Mexico, because uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Donald Trump, yeah, I read an article about him. He had a, a business dealing down here where he got screwed over and uh, he lost millions of dollars. He's been trying to, he's been in the court suing, even won, but he hasn't been able to collect on it. And I think he's pretty mad about it. It's like a personal vendetta he has against Mexico. Basically, Mexico needs to understand the position that they're in. You know, that they're, they're completely dependent upon the United States, but they act like they're not. You know, they want to, uh, you know, and it's admirable. Like, the, Mexico has a lot of admirable qualities, their courage, their, you know, they want to be independent, but at the same time, I mean, they, they could learn something from ties. You know, ties are very duplicitous, as well as Mexico. I'm, I'm going to read a book, uh, I'm going to download it from Amazon, about the history of Mexico and why Mexicans are the way that they are. You know, and it's actually, on the surface, Mexican culture seems pretty simple, but I'm starting to understand it more and more. It's actually very complicated. Like I said, people wear masks. You know, it all has to do with respect and with saving face. A lot like ties. But I think ties are somewhat more uh, astute in that they act nice. You know, they, they, they sort of like kiss the butts of everybody, you know, and um, they play everybody off against each other and they've been able to survive for thousands of years like that. Nobody's ever conquered them. Mexico could maybe learn something from that. But, I mean, they, they're sort of like biting the hand that feeds them. They're sort of like uh, biting the hand of America. And, pff, I mean, if Donald Trump becomes president, if he wants to, he can crush... Mexico in an instant, you know, I mean, it's just like, and if he's already mad and everything's going down, I mean, I don't see a really bright future for Mexico, and as well as like all of the political problems that they're having. That's where I see it. So it's pretty scary, you know, I just wanted to throw that in about Mexico, but it's pretty scary in general about um, what's going on in the uh, world right now. Like I said, by the end of the year, I think um, we're going to see a, lot, a world being a lot different. And if Donald Trump becomes president, I think we'll be looking at like uh, World War III. No matter what, pretty much soon that's going to be coming, but he'll uh, hasten the process, I think. What do you think? Thanks.